Entering vendor invoices is a straightforward process with a few time-saving tricks available. The invoice batch entry process can be started from the edit menu or the invoices button on the toolbar. Batches are collections of vendor transactions that have not yet been committed to accounting with a batch description to identify the purpose of the group. Company profile settings are available to provide a default batch description and also to include a unique screen color for identification. Multiple people can be editing separate batches simultaneously. Invoice batches can have three different types of transaction entries. Invoices are entered for tracking purchases and credit notes and debit notes are used for changing either the vendor outstanding balance or a particular invoice amount owing. When creating a document, choose the vendor either from the code field or the find button where vendors can also be located either by the phone number or name or previously posted document number. The default document number will come from the year, batch and entry number if the company profile option to auto assign invoice numbers is enabled but this may be changed as required. Also, if the vendor has an invoice number format defined, the invoice number can be determined from the document date, including a separate number to identify multiple invoices within a single month or day. To enter either a credit note or debit note, select the desired document type from the drop-down field list. And if you wish to apply this, to an invoice already posted to this vendor, the invoice number can be selected here. You are not allowed to enter a document number for a vendor with a duplicated number of the same type. An entry will prevent this, even if that transaction has not yet been posted from an invoice or cash invoice batch. In addition to the invoice date, optionally an accounting date for assigning to a different ledger fiscal period may be entered if a company profile option for using accounting dates is enabled. Payment terms are automatically read from the vendor record, but these can be edited by selecting a different terms code or removing the code entirely and entering each field individually. Batch optional fields may be defined if you wish to save information with the transaction not already available on the screen. Access to all fields can be configured by an entry template to skip over fields when tabbing through the screen, disallowing editing fields, or even hiding them from view. All three document types have amounts determined in the same way, using distribution details. Ledger accounts may be entered or selected from the finder and a default account may be defined on the vendor if distributions typically go to the same account. Just include an amount and update the description of the expense if desired. If the ledger account supports using statistical units, the unit description appears here, along with the field for entering a value. There is an option to control whether accounts or departments have to exist before the entry can be saved. In the company profile, Validate Ledger Account determines whether no checking occurs, just the account must be present, both the account and department have been created, or the account department combination is there. After saving a distribution, a user preference option is available to automatically open a new detail screen if it is usual to enter many distributions on invoices. The distribution may also be loaded from predefined codes that not only have the ledger account and department, but also allow setting default amounts and tax considerations. If particular groupings of accounts or distribution codes are regularly entered onto documents, this grouping can be added from a distribution set. This enables quicker entry by selecting the set code on the invoice and cycling through each detail where only the amount need be entered. 
or even have detail amounts calculated as a percentage of the total amount for the set. For more information regarding the creation of distribution codes and sets, follow this link to the Show Me How training video. After saving a document and creating a new one, a user preference option is available to remember the vendor code, document type, date, reference, and description from the previous entry. If integration exists with either Adagio Job Cost or Adagio Time and Billing, a detail type field allows directing the distribution to a particular job purchase or retained amount, or a particular customer disbursement. When this batch entry is posted, a new entry is created for retrieval into the respective application. If Adagio multi-currency is enabled, transactions for vendors using a different currency have an exchange rate saved with it, so that amounts can be determined in both your company's currency and the vendor's. Manage your payment scheduling by entering and reporting on vendor invoices. For more information about Adagio Accounting, use these links on screen or from the video description. Thanks for watching.